Here they come. Here they come. <laughs> How are you feeling? Whoa. Fly right? Mm -hmm. yeah, good, I, good. I most of the time. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. Started? Yes, sir. You don't really get to say that a lot about a lot of people where I'm from, so you never really like get to that point. So I just I use it as motivation. I don't really see that as pressure. It's basketball thing today. It's what I love to do. So yeah, this sport means like everything to me. Hey, Jay, we'll try you in the front, bro. Hmm? Oh, the front? We'll try you. No, the other side. Man, heck no, heck no, heck no. <laughs> Definitely not that. I'm gonna be in the NBA. You know, I wanna be a franchise player, like leading an NBA team as a point guard, uh, multiple championships, MVP, all that. Like, I wanna go down as like one of the best in the world. That's the goal for sure. Have you ever heard of a koala bear? Yeah. Yeah, you know that every mm -hmm. Australian has one as a pet. Really? Yeah. No way. Why? Really? Yes. So your neighbor, actually has two of them where you're staying. I can get one? No. Uh, it's a lot to look after. Really? Like when we go on the road, someone's got to feed him. Someone's got to feed him and whatnot, so... Mm -hmm. No, I'm only kidding. Not everyone has one. Come on, man, they're a wild animal. Yeah, yeah. Would you hold one? Yeah. You would? All right, well, we've got to get that done too. My basketball journey probably started at like... Uh, as long, like eight years old, maybe. Even, probably even younger than that. Uh, I grew up in Fresno, grew up playing basketball in Fresno. I, I moved uh, to Los Angeles after my ninth grade year. And yeah, uh, I went to Taft High School my sophomore and junior year, and then I went to uh, prep schools my senior year. And then, yeah, I was committed to the University of Texas, chose to decommit and uh, go the pro route, which is here. I mean, I seen how, uh, how good LaMelo did and how that helped his development and like RJ Hampton, how that helped their development and stuff like that. Josh Giddy, other players like that. So yeah, that was a big part of my decision for sure. I like this. Oh, yeah. This is nice. I like it. Yeah, I think I like this room. I have to get a TV. Huh? Hey, Daniel. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to nice meet you. Biggie, how are we doing? Nice. You guys get some food? Boy, boy. Yeah. You bring some boardies, mate? Go for a swim after this? Yeah, It's pretty warm, okay? It's yeah, not too bad. Yeah, that's what we're saying. The water, oh, the water would be cold. Yeah, it's it cold. Yeah, it'd be cold. But you never regret it, bro. You always feel good after. So. Yeah. I've known Jalen Green since I was like nine years old. Uh, we met in the gym, and you know, it just took off from there. Honestly, that's one of like that was one of my favorite players. Even even though he was in high school, he was still young, like ninth grade. Uh, he, he was still one of my favorite players, and I'm, I've been modeling my game after him like my whole life. So he's a, he's a huge part of my development for sure. He's always gonna be on my side about all my decisions and stuff like that. He's gonna want what's best for me. So yeah, he thought this was a good move. I'm confident, not cocky. I hit every shot I shoot. Ain't nobody that can block me. I have a, a brother, two sisters, all younger. I'm the oldest. Yeah, it's definitely rough on them. Like, they, I definitely didn't probably want me to go this far, but they know that I'm just chasing my dream and trying to do what's best for me. So they're like on board. I've been gone since I was younger, so you know it's not that much of a big difference. But this is like really, really far. Not just like three hours away. But it's just all for a sacrifice, and I just know that it's all just gonna pay off at the end. There's been a lot of things that's uh, been tough in my life. Just growing up younger, just family stuff. The odds have always been against me. I was just a kid from Fresno, like moving to LA and stuff like that. I've just always just like, I feel like I could just do anything, any type of environment. I feel like I can adapt too quick. Everything that's happened in my life like shaped me to who I am now. So, so I could be prepared for anything, you know?